This is the first time in my runs on FIFA 23 that I've been to the round of 16. Club Bruges have been very impressive. Can we do it here against Chelsea across a two-legged tie? It's going to be really tough because Chelsea are a decent team, of course. Kovacic to Jorginho. Aubameyang goes for it. All good save by Mignolet. Chelsea pressing from the corner. Just tackled in there. He's got the ball back. Another deflection. It goes straight to him. And another save by Mignolet. All these deflections that keep landing for these other teams are so annoying. Oh, Chelsea going through here, but we just block him. Another deflection. And again, Mignolet saves us. Chelsea, they go for it. And that's a goal. It's been coming. It has been coming. Away from home, Chelsea have scored. Aubameyang with the first goal to make it 1-0. Oh, that's a good ball. They opt to play it to that player there. And it was a bit of a weird move from Chelsea. They could have easily just scored. Uh-oh, Aubameyang. He's been tearing me apart in this first half. Chelsea have been so good. We can't even tackle him either. Look. They just spin away from literally every challenge I do. And that's going to be half-time. We're 1-0 down against Chelsea here at home. So they've got the away goal. But I'm fairly sure away goals don't count anymore. I don't know why I keep thinking that. Maybe because obviously, you know, we've all grown up to assume that Champions League away goals and stuff count and stuff. But I'm fairly sure they don't anymore. Mignolet, what save was that? But at least it kind of came out to me. I slid in front of it just to stop it. Didn't even work. Come on, Club Perouge. Nielsen. Come on. We can do this, right? Nielsen. Oh, poor shot. I mean, I probably shouldn't have shot from that distance anyway. On that angle, even. Good control. They surely got to score this. No. They didn't take the chance. They've been all over me all game. It's plus two minutes and they're going to drain very quickly. Chelsea on the attack. Are they going to finish me off? No. It's only a 1-0, so we take that into the next game against Chelsea, but it's at Stamford Bridge. It's going to be a tough ask to beat them at Stamford Bridge, but at least we got here to the round of 16, and there's no shame in losing to Chelsea, especially when it's only a 1-0. We're at Stamford Bridge for this one. Uh, Champions League night in England, in London. Yeah, we just need to pull off the biggest performance of our lives to stay in the Champions League. If we lose or if we draw, then we're out. Triple here. Here comes Club Bruges and we scored! Third minute and we're back into this match. Club Bruges. Amazing scenes here in Stamford Bridge. Look at this. Just one through ball, caught and lacking and yeah, Mendy, that was a really bad save. Lang on the ball. Mayer crossed in, it's headed, and we scored! We scored again! And Club Bruges have taken the lead in the 10th minute. Two goals in 10 minutes, amazing! Incredible, what a run this is so far! How incredible is this from Club Bruges? Honestly, a cross in here, and he just comes over the top of, I think it was Aspilicueta, and just heads it in. And it's 2 0 to Club Bruges. First, like, 11 minutes in, and, um, well, we're stunning, this Chelsea fan base right now. Come on. No! Oh, off the bar! Oh, you could not get any more closer than that. Okay, well, Aubameyang with the free kick. It's crossed in, headed out. We've done so well here. So, so well to, um, lock down this... Oh, they just scored! How?! Okay, aggregate 2-2 two, two now. And um, who was that? I don't know who that is. I think it's just like a reserve player or something. Look, he just scored from that angle. Oh, it came off his chest. I didn't actually see it in the um, replay. Okay, so aggregate 2-2. Two, two. Good Champions League match so far. Through ball. Here comes Lang. Can he get another goal? Go on. Yes! It's 3-2 on aggregate. This is a crazy Champions League game. I didn't expect to get three goals at Stamford Bridge in the first, like, 30 minutes or so. That is mental. They were so exposed at the back, and, um, yeah, we took full advantage of it. Uh, it comes Chelsea, and good save by Mignolet. No! 
And they, oh, I was about to say, and they scored, but no, this guy puts that over the bar. Don't know who he is. He looks like a standard player, but could be just like a reserve player or youth player for Chelsea. Half time, Club Bruges are leading on aggregate 3 2. Can they keep this up? Oh, that's a poor pass. What is going on there? Good save by Mignolet, though. Reese James. They go for it. Oh, Mignolet late save, but still a good save. Mignolet is so beast on this game, dude. Honestly, he's been so good for a ball. Go on. Oh, yes, look at this. Scott Volson in behind. Look at this. Scott Volson. Ah, oh, just shot a little bit too late. Nielsen. Oh, that was a decent attempt. He even, like, sort of... Like, sent a defender the wrong way. And I did it purely accidentally as well. So, great play by Club Rouge. Tackled him, though. Pace, not really helping him there. Mayer going through here. Good cross. And we scored again! That is 4-2 on aggregate. And Chelsea are probably going to go out here in the Champions League. What a performance by Club Rouge! Away from home... And we've just absolutely done them here. Absolutely done them. 89th minute. Chelsea pressing forward. Oh, I messed up that defensive play. And that was decent. But Bamiyang denied again by uh, Mignolet. And it's offside anyway. Once I boot this away, it's going to be over. We have just beaten Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. 4-1. 4-2 on aggregate over the two ties. What are Club Bruges doing right now? They've gone into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. So these are your results. Inter beat Ajax on aggregate 6-2. We obviously beat Chelsea 4-2 on aggregate. Liverpool squeezed past Benfica 3-2 on aggregate. Real Madrid beat Milan 5-2 on aggregate. And then we've got Shakhtar winning 5-4 on aggregate against Spurs. Uh, PSG beating Barcelona 3-2 on aggregate. Man City beating... Sporting Portugal on aggregate 3-1. And Leverkusen beating Sevilla 4-3 on aggregate. So who is our next opponent? That's what I want to know right now. It's Liverpool. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. This is going to be a huge match. Liverpool versus Club Bruges. Even though Liverpool aren't in the best form currently right now. Obviously their team on this game is pretty sick. Salah to whip it in. Van Dijk and that's in. Van Dijk has scored, and that's 1-0 to Liverpool. Good header, and that's 1-0 to Liverpool. Can't really stop those kind of headers, really, especially when it's like Van Dijk. Through ball. Lang. Yes! 1-1! One, one. And that was all because Van Dijk went up for the corner and didn't get back in time. If he got back in time, that area would have been covered, and I wouldn't have scored that goal. Club Bruges, back on level terms with Liverpool. No, ooh, hoo, hoo. off the bar from Thiago. Through ball, Nielsen. It's Nielsen. Oh, Alisson with a great save there. I thought I was going to nestle one to the top corner. Liverpool pressing again into the box and they scored. No defending, really. And um, that's Nunez with the goal, isn't it? Yeah, Darwin Nunez scores to make it 2 1 to Liverpool. Come on. Club Bruges. Great ball movement. Oh, Allison with a fantastic save there. It's half time and it is 2 1 to Liverpool, thanks to that man there, Darren Nunes. We're doing okay at the moment, despite the fact that we are losing. Go on. Oh, that's good play. Really good play. And we scored! It didn't go to the right man that I wanted it to, it to do, go to, sorry. And um, it doesn't matter, it's, we still scored. Amazing. Club Bruges have been so good, dude. Usually I struggle on this game to win and get back into games and stuff. Especially with my with my recent runs. But this has been amazing from Club Bruges, this run. Quarterfinals. And we're currently drawing 2-2 with Liverpool. Uh, could be 3-2. But that was so close from Navi Keita there. Liverpool... Messing around with it a bit too much. And they scored. Another random deflection that goes straight to back to Thiago. And that's 3-2 to Liverpool. Already a crazy game. Thiago into the box. And they scored again. Number 20. And I'm fairly sure that Schotter that scored to make it 4-2 to Liverpool now. All right. Now 
I think the comeback is not going to happen unless something absolutely outrageous happens in this match. Uh oh. And they scored again. That time it's Jordan Henderson with the goal to make it 5-2 to Liverpool. I don't really want to concede too many goals against Liverpool here. I mean, I already have. I've conceded five against them. But having that other two goals really does help us when we go back to Anfield. Go on. Yes! That's three on the scoreboard for Club Bruges. But Liverpool still have the five. Can we get another one to make this tie a little bit easier? Crazy Champions League night in Club Bruges. Well, that is it. A crazy game. 5-3. We've got one more leg to play against Liverpool. Will it be the same story or can we do what we did against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge and absolutely shock them? That'll be just one of the best things ever. It's put us in that position for that mental comeback. Champions League nights at Anfield have always been kind of known for special comebacks. Barcelona fans can tell you all about that. But can Club Bruges do it here against Liverpool? Scott Olsen to this guy. Through ball here. Yes, Nielsen's going through. Come on. Oh, I tried to pass it, but Van Dyke cut it out. Um, What was that? What was that? That defending from Club Bruges and that goalkeeping. For the first time, I'm going to moan about Mignolet's positioning on that one. He didn't come forward for the ball, and Van Dyke scores. To make it 1-0 to Liverpool. And it's 6-3 on aggregate now. Bit of a mistake there from Liverpool. We can keep pressing. Another mistake there. How did we get away with that challenge? And Van Dijk's been turned. And yes! A goal! And that's 1-1 here. But 6-4 on aggregate now. A crazy scoreline. Like, Scott Olsen... He's, he's really good on this game. Well, there was a mistake. And then he pushed over one... Defender, I think it was Robertson. And then I pushed through again, and Van Dyke just got done, and I just slotted it into the bottom corner. Oh wow, Nunes just was it Nunes? Oh, it might have been Diaz. Yeah, it was Diaz. Scored that one. What a goal that was from Diaz! It's seven four on aggregate now. I didn't expect him to score. He just went for it from outside the box. I didn't expect it to go in, but it did. Half time. Can Club Bruges claw their way back into the game after half-time? There's only 45 minutes left of this game. 7-4 on aggregate. We need four more goals. Uh-oh, Nunes. Oh, good save by Mignolet. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's a goal. That's probably game over now. It's 8-4 on aggregate. And um, was that Jota? It was Diogo Jota. Liverpool, come on. Like It's been an amazing game. You don't have to rub it in like that with the camera celebration. No. Oh, they scored again. And that's Jota. 9-4 on aggregate. That's wild. This is the most weirdest Champions League tie ever. Through ball here. And we scored. It's 9-5 on aggregate. <laughs> How do you even get a scoreline like this? Such a good high scoring match. If this happened in real life in the Champions League, then, well, that would be absolutely amazing. And I wouldn't put it past Club Rouge to do this to Liverpool in real life in current form because our defence has been leaking goals recently. Free kick to Liverpool and it's all but over for Club Rouge. Really good fight though. Really, really good fight. I mean, 9-5 on aggregate absolutely absurd they can be proud of themselves and they're such a good team on this game as well and currently as it stands in real life they've been crushing their group so yeah good luck to club bridge in the future for the knockouts if they do get there that's good save by Mignolet and that is it Club Bruges eliminated, Liverpool go through to the semi-finals. So FIFA doesn't simulate to the end of the tournament for some reason, which is really stupid. But that was your run with Club Bruges in the Champions League. The furthest I've gotten so far with a team on FIFA 23 on the Champions League. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video. Oh, 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 oh,